Welcome back to the channel guys. Today it looks like it's FPV drone parts delivery day. Let's open up the box and see what we got inside. Speedy delivery from Newbie Drone. Goodies bag. Looks like we got a couple BI cameras. Pick these up. These are on sale right now. I think these are uh, got a little bit of light leak, but these are $5 on moviedrone.com. So I'll post that link in the video description if you're thinking about picking those up. For the real star of the show, something I've been waiting for for a bit, it's these new Fox Ear Donut Props. Now, if you're familiar with MIT's toroidal props, these are Fox Ear spin on this. Now, I didn't go with any of the 3D printed designs that were available on Thingiverse and other websites online. I didn't really feel like the 3D printed material was gonna hold up well, and I didn't even bother with printing those. Fox Ear, I know, announced these a couple weeks ago, and they had them available on their website, but I didn't wanna wait for shipping from China. So I waited to a local retailer, had them in stock. I saw a newbie drone sent out an email and I picked up three sets of these. So these are the Fox Ear Donut 5145s. They come in smoke gray, which is what I got, as well as like a teal color. They were sold out of the teal. Let's see what these look like. All right. So these are uh, definitely a different looking design. We'll throw a set on our budget build for 2022-2023. Give them a go and I'll report back. Let's give this one a go.
All right, guys, we're back. Uh, to sum it all up, uh, these are, they do offer a little bit more grip than something like a Bi-Blade. They kind of reminded me of a Bi-Blade, just the orientation here, but I think they are a little bit more grippy than a Bi-Blade, uh, but they're definitely not as durable as something like a traditional prop. And the sound profile is a little bit quieter. Uh, it's a little bit different, and that's something that's you know, unique versus, um, you know, a tri-blade or a bi-blade. They do have a unique sound. They're definitely fun. Um, they weren't difficult to control. Uh, if you want to try something new in your bag there, uh, it's more of a, I wouldn't say a gimmick, but I'm sure there are applications where these would be a good choice. Uh, but for something just like even normal freestyle, definitely not racing. Uh, these just don't hold up uh, in crashes there. Don't ask me how I did this. Some of the damage. It's really weird. That's probably what was making that noise. I was able to bend this one prop back, get back in the air and finish the rest of that pack up but just a mild impact pretty much destroyed these props at least the first crash that i had uh, i think you watched that in the clip there i do appreciate fox here going ahead with some innovation and being the first manufacturer to bring these to market hopefully uh, some other manufacturers will follow suit but in my opinion now uh, these are just more of uh, a novelty prop uh, they won't be my new go-to I believe I'll stick with the HQ Juicy J37s or J40s or the FX peanut butter and jelly props. Those are typically be, tend to be my favorite. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell. Leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.